some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in the middle of Texas where we find a sovereign citizen who's just been pulled over because he has no insurance or registration. And he attempts the right to travel argument on a sheriff's deputy, but the deputy is not going to have any of his pseudo legal garbage. So he ends up getting his vehicle towed. Oh, what a shame. But you know what? He was not going to learn his lesson. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, do you have power of attorney over me? Uh, oh boy, the dumb dumb is really coming out of the gate with this brand of stupidity. That's not what power of attorney is, you moron. Power of attorney gives somebody else the right to deal with your finances, your medical needs, your property, or anything of that particular civil nature. Not over traffic stops or anything like that, you moron. No, I have kind of Then you cannot. Do you have your license? You can, if you don't have power of attorney over me, you, you cannot force me to do what you want. I want the supervisor here. He doesn't need power of attorney anyway to pull you over. The fact that you drive around with no plates is probable cause enough to do so. Uh, no, not right now. You're going to... Uh, this your is, is your policy, sir, to no. give get no. your policy. supervisor here, sir. It's not. Yes, it is. It's always been your policy to have I need your, your license supervisor and your insurance here, right sir. now. If not, that's going to be obstruction because you're not allowed to... So, I don't, I don't have the right by God to... Uh, the travel. You're telling me man is above God. You're, the right you're, tell, you're telling me that you know, you know, that God is nothing. Okay, well, and I'm I have to obey. You're either going to produce it here or not. Are you going to give me your license and insurance? <laughs> he never said anything about God being nothing. You put those words in his mouth. All he wants is your license and insurance. But of course, you being a sovereign citizen, I'm sure you conveniently don't have any of those yes sir. why are you being like this, no, are you this is your this is tyranny are you going to produce it or not this is tyranny okay then i'm just going to take it why are you going to give it to me this is tyranny you know you want it so i, I do not have the right to consent to do business with you what is this gibbering idiot talking about? You can do business with anybody you want. It's just that you can't drive without the proper uh, tags, plates, and insurance, driver's license, or anything of that nature. Not to mention the fact that, well, it's not tyrannical for the deputy to ask for any of that for the purposes of this traffic stop. I do not consent. Uh, doing business with you because if I hand you my ID, I will be doing business with no, you. I'll be contracting with this, this because in order for it's you to do what order. you Are do you to, comply with the law to make money, this is, this is business. Are you to comply with the law okay, law? I will be suing you under 42 1983. Yeah, okay, whatever. Good luck with that. You do know that driving is a privilege and not a right. Besides, if he had made this stop and pulled you out of the vehicle without any cause and you had proper tags and everything like that, then you might have a case. But seeing as how you have no tags or insurance or anything like that, you don't have a leg to stand on here, dude. That's fine. You have every right to train. Um, I need to get this home so I they don't spoil and I'm right here on the well, corner. As long as you take giving me what I need to do. Yeah, so that way out. you can do more than what you're supposed to well, because I have a right. Still waiting for the insurance. I don't have insurance don't because have insurance. I can't afford it. So you don't have insurance on the vehicle? No, sir, because I can't afford so can't insurance. can't be operating it expired and with insurance on the public Well, it, it, So if it doesn't come back confirmed on the insurance, we're going to be towing it and you're going to have to take your things and walk in the moment. I want the supervisor here. You got your ID. I want the supervisor here. 
You just admitted that you can't afford insurance. I would think that having a supervisor on scene would be the least of your concerns right now. I would say that your primary concern would be to get a job where you can afford insurance. But, you know, I don't think anybody will hire you with this attitude you've got. She is already contacting the supervisor. That's fine. I was on the phone and, with her, but uh, she's calling the tow truck for me. So if you want to get your... But I need here, to be able to get these home. You are. You're and I can't with walk them. with them You're home. Because you know, you know, be I got all my tools in the no, truck. You can't drive with the truck. It's not legally allowed to be on yeah, the Yeah, but what, what was your articulate, reasonable suspicion to Expired pull me over? That's not a breaking the law. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is not a law. It's a policy, sir. No. It it's not a law. It's a policy. When does that ever work, you moron? Because, you know, it is illegal to drive without a driver's license anywhere in the United States. No, it is a law, and a law. Texas state judge recently just ruled that no one needs a license to travel. I am traveling. This is not a commercial business uh, vehicle. Okay, that's not going to be argued here or there. So you're going to take your groceries, and you can, you're can. you going to come out here. I'm going to give you your citations. You're going to be free to go, but the vehicle is not going anywhere. Yes, you have the right to travel, but you still need a license to operate a motor vehicle. So start gathering your this stuff is and then meet me in the back. My means of, of, of work and uh, and you're ruining my life so y'all can make money. No. Wait a second. You just said you use your vehicle to work. So you use your vehicle for commerce and in your own logic, you would need a license, registration, and tag. Wow. Your arguments don't hold up, do they? Well, I guess, like any soft heart, you don't think these things through very well, do you? No, you could have gotten... No, y'all are y'all got all this going so y'all can make money. Okay. I already told you what I need you to do, and life. if not, then the food's going to go with the truck when the tow truck gets here. But this is not going this home This is demonic. You. This is not going home this with you. This is demonic. Okay. Make sure you get all your things this ready because it's going to be here in a moment. I'll be back with you. You're acting in a like moment. a demon. No, I'm not. Yes, because you're stealing my property because I'm not doing something that the imaginary state has no power to do. Now, by your own admission just now, the Constitution is completely meaningless because, you know, there is that little thing about you know, the Tenth Amendment, which gives the states the right to create laws that are not covered within the Constitution. Yeah, so there's that. So why don't you try rethinking your arguments? Oh, wait, I don't think you have the capacity to even do that. Never mind. This is bullshit. The imaginary state has no power. Imaginary state can't make laws. Well, if the state is imaginary, then I guess those uh, social security checks that you get uh, are not worth anything. So can you send those back to the uh, original sender? Because, you know, there's other people that need them. <sighs> You know, this is this is just a load of bullshit. I can't work because you're gonna take my tools. So I, I got a job tomorrow and I can't work. So you're gonna take my steal my stuff so you can make money off me so I can get it back out. Again, you just admitted that you use your vehicle for work, which basically means in your own belief system that the vehicle needs to be registered and insured. So why the hell is it not registered and insured? Damn, your arguments just don't make any sense when you apply logic to them. 
you know, I got to pay the tow truck and y'all are having it towed. I got to pay everything when y'all are doing this. This is just illegal. A state judge. Y'all don't, y'all don't listen to the state judge. Y'all do not listen to the judge. The judge says I have a right to travel without a license. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you just said that the state laws were imaginary yet. You were just trying to say a state judge was saying all this. What the hell's your deal, dude? So now all of a sudden the state can make laws and it is the judges who actually make them, not the legislature of your state? Uh, let's get this straight, shall we? A state judge of Texas. Y'all don't, y'all don't care about the, what the judge says, huh? It's just all about money. Laugh it up, whatever. God's got your number. <laughs> Are the keys in here still? You know, God's got your number. You now this is wrong. I have a right by God to Where do what I'm doing. And y'all are just stealing my vehicle so you can make money and help your, your whoever make money too off me. Do you have house keys you need from there? I just need the card. This is not right. I'm, I'm suing. Okay, now, let me see the car keys. I got to get it off there, please, sir. All right. I mean, damn. Nobody has act like this to you. But, you know, if we was to be able to pull y'all over and take what, what that is ours, because uh, our taxes pay for that. You know, mm -hmm. I pay taxes but, too, right? So in a yeah, way, I pay toys. taxes. I know. And so I pay do I, your so check. And we and both you're pay making, equal taxes. Yes, and, but you're making money off of me, and you're making money you off of my none of this uh, goes off to taxes. Me you know, and, and, the capacity and, yeah, but it goes to. The, uh, the jail. State. It goes uh, to the yeah, state. the state. The imaginary state that does not exist. You're living in the imaginary no, state. No, I'm living in America. I'm Which not living in a state. What? Yeah, imaginary states made out of the mind of a man. He just imagined it, and then they implement it, and everybody says, "Okay, I agree, it exists, ah, yes, and I'm gonna let it all happen." And, Thank you. You know. Well, his vehicle was towed and he found a ride with the random stranger. What a complete moron. Not one logical argument in his entire arsenal. Not one ounce of critical thought in that Zavtard's head. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.